Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, in this video, I wanted to talk about how you are as attractive as you think you are. Okay? You are as attractive as you think you are. See, attraction starts in the mind. Okay, see, I want, I want to get a little, little, little deep on this shit, right? See, a lot of times, guys, they don't get the women they want. They don't attract the women that they want, or they don't attract women in general because they think that they're not attractive. So when you think you're not attractive, it's going to be hard for you to attract. But if you think you are attractive, then you'll attract. Is that simple? See, what you have to understand is, is that your thoughts become your actions. So what happens is, is that if you think you are attractive, then usually you're going to act in certain ways to get people to be attracted to you. You understand? If you think you are not attractive, you're going to act in ways that's going to repel people. That's going to make it hard for you to attract. You understand? See, the problem is this, is you have a lot of guys out there because they'll look at themselves, they're like, man, you know, I'm not good looking, right? Um, and they'll think, well, no girl's going to like me or I'm not going to get that many girls. I'm not going to get any pretty girls because I don't look good, right? So because they think they don't look good, because they think they're not attractive, What's going to happen is, is that they're going to do certain things and act in certain ways that is going to make the woman look at them and say, yeah, this guy, he's, he's not attractive. He's probably going to act nervous around the girl. He's going to be very insecure, act very timid and all this other stuff. And that's going to make her not want to fuck with him. See, a lot of this is all mental. See, you could have a guy who's good looking. And he may not think he's attractive to a certain girl, but she thinks he's, he's attractive. But again, because he thinks he's not, he's going to act in certain ways that's going to display certain behaviors that's going to make her think he's unattractive, even though at first she thought he was attractive. See, a lot of times guys will think that the reason why this guy or that guy is getting women because he, you know, he's good looking, but there are guys who are good looking, but the reason why... Or one of the main reasons why they're getting women is because they're confident about their good looks. You understand? Which gives them that energy, which makes chicks want to fuck with them. Now, again, a chick may be attracted to him because of his looks, but it's his confidence about his looks that really pulls the chick in. That really attracts her to him. Because if that same guy was not confident about his looks, just like I was saying in the other example, let's say he was insecure about his looks, even though he's a good looking dude, his insecurity would come out and that will make the woman not want to fuck with him. You understand? See, this, the, all of this shit starts in the mind. See, you could be a dude who is out of shape, right? You're not in the best shape. But if you think you're an attractive motherfucker, you're going to attract women. See, there was this dude I knew who was like that. Like he was in shape and he would holler at chicks and get chicks or whatever. And some chicks, you know, would be attracted to him because he was in shape. But then he, you know, he started slacking. He wasn't going to the gym as much. And he, he got a little bit out of shape. He gained, I may, think like maybe like 15 pounds or some shit. But he still thought he was the shit. So what happened was he was still attracting women because since he thought he was the shit and he thought women wanted him, that made him take action. Remember, your thoughts become your actions. So he kept talking to women. He kept going out. He kept interacting with the girls and he still kept getting girls and he still kept getting uh, hot chicks. Right. So the thing is this, is that because he thought he was attractive that made him take action 
and made him get what he wanted to get. See, a lot of times what happens is, is that because you think you are not attractive, right? You are not going to get the things you want because you're not going to be able to attract those things because you think you aren't it. You don't think you are attractive. You understand? See, you have guys out there that will say, well, that doesn't make any sense, Mr. Locario, because if a guy is a fat slob and he dresses all whack and he's an ugly dude, right? He could think, well, he's attractive all he wants. No girl's going to want to fuck with him because of the way he looks or the way he presents himself, right? But see, this is what you got to understand. When you're the type of guy who thinks they're attractive, right? What's going to happen is, is that you're going to take action in the first place because you think you are attractive. So you're just, you're not just going to be sitting there, you know, eating video games and, you know, I mean, I say eating video games, playing video games and eating cheese doodles and shit, right? You're going to still go out there and do your thing. But what, what's also going to happen is this, is that because you keep thinking that you're attractive, right? What's going to happen is you're going to look at yourself and say, what can I do to make myself even more attractive? So what happens is, is that the thinking of being attractive will propel you to make yourself the most attractive you can make yourself. You understand? So what happened was the guy that I was talking about who, uh, you know, gained a little bit of weight. He ended up going back to the gym and doing all this other shit because, because he kept thinking he was the shit. He was like, how can I make myself even more the shit? So he got back in fucking shape. You understand what I'm saying? And that's how your mindset works is that because you think this way, it's going to propel you to act this way. And the opposite is true. If you think you're not attractive, you're going to act like a dude who's not attractive. And then you're not going to attract. See, I'll put it like this. Let's say if you have an artist who has a song and he's, he's you know, he's trying to promote his song. He's like, yo, this song is the, the, the fucking hottest shit ever. This song is going to attract a lot of customers, right? But, you know, he's showing his friends, he's showing other people, and they're like, eh, that song's okay. It ain't really that hot. You know, some people saying it's whack, but he believes that that song is the shit. He believes that song is going to attract a lot of people. So he makes a music video. He puts his joint on Spotify. He's, you know, putting money into the song to promote it. He's giving it to DJs. And then this, the shit starts gaining traction. More people start playing it. More people start hearing it, right? Now, this song is playing everywhere and every, everybody thinks that song is the shit. They're like, damn, this shit is, is fire, right? But that all started from him thinking that his song was attractive. Him thinking that his song was the shit. Him thinking that his song was going to attract customers, right? So even when people was telling him it was whack, he thought that it was hot, which propelled him to take action to put it out there more which got him to the point where not everybody's fucking with it. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of you guys out there, what's stopping you is you, because you could have another guy, let's say you have another artist who has a song, and he's like, I don't know, this song's okay, and, and then people telling him it's whack, and now he's like, yeah, I guess it's whack, because everybody else is saying it's whack, right? And so now he's like, he just lets it sit in his fucking hard drive, he don't really promote it, he don't do nothing with it, and nothing happens. Because he thought it was whack. But it wasn't really about the other people. It was about him. Because the other artist had other people saying his shit was whack. But he was like, fuck that. My shit is the shit. My shit is on point. This shit is attractive. And people are going to want to fuck with it. I'm going to find the people who want to fuck with it. Right? Everybody might not want to fuck with it. But there's going to be enough people to want to fuck with it. That I can thrive and do what I need to do. You understand what I'm saying? While the other guy is like, oh, well... My friends down the block said it, it's whack and this other person over here didn't like it. So, and you know, I, I guess it's not good and I don't really think it's good. So, right. And, and this is what, this is the same thing that happens when it comes to you guys attracting women. You understand? The reason why guys have a hard time 
is because they think that they're not attractive. And the thinking that you are not attractive is going to make you experience women who think you're not attractive. You understand what I'm saying? Because what what a lot of guys do is this. They 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 put so much stock on what people a, a bunch of people outside of them is saying. Right? And this is the interesting part. Cuz see they'll say, "Well, these 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 people are saying I'm not good looking." Right? But who is saying you're not good looking? People. So people are not saying are saying you're not good looking or saying you are not attractive, right? But who are you? Aren't you also a person? Doesn't your opinion also count? And aren't you the one controlling who you are? So if people are saying this, but you are also a person, so that means that if their opinion counts, that means your opinion also counts. So then all you need to do is find other people who have the same opinion as you. And then you will attract those people. So if you think you're the shit, you think you're attractive, you will find women who think you're attractive also. Right? Because your thoughts become your actions. You're going to, you know, put yourself in motion to make that happen. But if you think you're unattractive, that's the type of actions you're going to take. You're going to take the actions that's going to, you know, yield you results of people, of more people thinking you're unattractive. Because it starts from you. It starts from your mindset. You understand? Because dudes think, well, because I just, you know, my face looks this way, uh, you know, I'm not like the best looking guy. And so because of that, I'm just, it's just over. It's a wrap. It, there's nothing I can do. Right? And that's their thought process. Right? Then you have people who they think they're the shit. No matter how they look. You understand what I'm saying? No matter how their face looks, you know, how their their eyes, nose, and mouth is, is in place, they think they're the shit. Right? And then what happens is they end up finding other people who think they're the shit too. You understand? Because again, all this look shit is subjective. You understand? All of that other stuff is... You know, it's a subjective thing and people like different shit. People are attracted to different things. This is why you can have a bunch of YouTubers who talk their talk and then they have people who are going to gravitate to this YouTuber, gravitate to that YouTuber, maybe gravitate to both of them. Or this person has their type of audience. This person has their type of audience because they're attracting those people who are attracted to who they are. You understand what I'm saying? And what happens is, is that that person who's that YouTuber is like, look, you know, I got some shit to say and I believe people are going to want to hear this and I do this. I take action to make these videos, make this happen. And then I attract viewers, right? But if a person's sitting at home, well, I don't think anyone's going to like what I say and nobody's going to want to uh, fuck with me. You think that person's going to make a lot of videos? You think that person's ever going to put the camera on to make videos to attract viewers? Fuck no. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And then they're going to be like, oh, well, nobody want, likes me. Nobody wants to hear what I say, but it's going to be their own fault because they were the ones that were thinking that they weren't attractive. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. 
I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.